0 0.1. Um, PvP wise, this is what I feel is probably the strongest for the spec right now, sitting at 110. Uh, Weapon Master, Sinister Strike's got a 10% increased chance to strike for an additional time, so you're hitting them twice, 10% chance, you're spamming Sinister Strike a lot, so I do hear it going off a couple of times all the time. Retractable Hook just reduces the cooldown on it by 30 seconds, so you can jump out there a little bit farther. It's like a blink for a mage or some stupid shit like that. Uh, Mark for Death, 5 instant combo points, Iron Stomach, you get more healing. Prey in a week, damage increase for 10%. Slice and Dice, this is what I think is the best versus Loaded Dice. Uh, loaded Dice because your Adrenaline Rush is only up every 3 minutes, so you're only getting 2 matches every 3 minutes, which in PvP you don't fight for that long. You want more shit to happen more often. Uh, you get more energy regen and your attack speeds increase by 50% with slice and dice. I feel like this is a little bit stronger right now. Um, Dancing Steel, maybe for PvE, I don't know anything about that, but uh, the level 100 talent I would run, Killing Spree, that's what I feel is the best. It just really fucking chunks the shit out of people, man. Um, as far as PvP talents, I run Gladiator's Medallion, Dismantle, uh, Plunder Armor, and Turn the Tables. Because anytime that you're in a stun from anything that can stun you, you come out, you got 15% damage increase. So uh, that's what I feel is strong as shit right now. Uh, as far as like rotation, um, Sinister Strike, that's what I've got on my number one key. Number two, I've got Pistol Shot up. Uh, number three, I have Between the Eyes. Number four is Dispatch. Five is Killing Spree. Uh, on my F keys, Bound is Plunder Armor. Got my Adrenaline Rush on Q. Uh, slice and Dice is on E. Um, those are my main attacks. Uh, for my other CDs, I got like Blade Furies on like my combo tickets for my... What in the world is going on here now? Mouse that I just found. But uh, yeah, 12 keys on the side of it. So if you guys are seeing all these other F keys, I've got a lot of that stuff all macro to the uh, mouse that I play with. Um, so dismantles on three, uh, your burst. So basically, you're going to be stunned out or stunned out, stealthed out, uh, you're going to either open with your ambush or cheap shot from stealth, depending on uh, what you're trying to do with your guy. Uh, ambush for DPS, you're going to get send strike, send strike until you got five combo points, you're going to want to stun him, adrenaline rush, mark for death, and then you're going to want to put out your slice of dice for five combo points. You got five combo points up again, you might want a killing spree if you're getting in the first and you try to get into the guy. Send strike, send strike, send strike. We've got pistol shot up again. Uh, we've got a proc right there. When you see pistol shot proc, you're getting an increase in damage. You don't really want to use it for half ass pistol shots unless you're like really ranged from the target and you can't hit them. That's then you want to be spamming pistol shot on but any time that you can stun your target, you want to be able to save this. This is just like uh, uh, your kidney shot for assassination. Mark for death, same shit. Five points combo generation. Pop all your CDs on everything, man, and fucking really try to go ham on everything. Dismantling your target, fucking blinding them, doing all the other good stuff that you could do. So mainly it's, uh, you got four huge buttons. You're spamming Sinister Strike, you're spamming uh, Pistol Shot when it's procced, or if the target is ranged from you. Uh, between the eyes, four or five combo points, you always want to go for everything for five combo points on a rogue dude. Even if you want to wait, it's hard to wait for a half a second, another second, even two seconds, but it's worth it to wait and get generate five combo points, man, and learn to play to be able to be patient to wait, because playing a rogue, you're more like a boxer, man, you're in there, you're out of there, and then you gotta fuck it, you gotta hit it and quit it, you kind of wanna treat it like a hooker, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> so, Outlaw right now, I feel like it's pretty strong at 110 for patch 8.0, but it's nowhere near on par with Assassination. Assassination, dude, you're able to global people. Outlaw, it's pretty fucking fun. Uh, one more time for the rotation, and then we'll get on out of here. Outlaw Rogue, 
BFA, patch 8.0. It's what I think about it. It's what I'm running. It's pretty strong if you run it this way. Check it out for yourself.